wait, 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 wait! Oh no! Oh, crap! Hey guys, Scoobs is back in town, and guess what? I'm back here again, duh. But you know what? Uh, the reason why I'm recording this quick video is because I promised that if I found... Check it out, guys. Oops. <laughs> the wrong one. I'm stupid. Okay, if I found the power transmitter fragments, I would tell you where the heck they were. Okay, it takes gold and titanium. It's so freaking easy to build. And it, they're so dang useful. And as you can hear, all this explosive nonsense and crap going on right next to me. Yeah, it's because I had to build my, my, my base right on top of that freaking volcano. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, here we go. Let me show you where to get those freaking things. And, and by the way, before you even try to go find these, I suggest you do the moon pool, you get the upgrade station for your sea moth, because you are going to need some depth. Okay, that's all there is to it. Straight up, I, I, I knew there was a reason why it wasn't cooperating with me. Oops. Okay, so <clears throat> why it was not cooperating with me? I went out online and it said, hey, they're going to be right over here. Basically, what you want to do is you want to make a beeline right for that island. Okay, you know where the island is. So if you're taking a look at the Aurora, okay, we're looking at the Aurora's butt. What you want to do is you basically want to go parallel with it and off to the left a bit. Okay, all you got to do is look out there and you will see where that island is. Everybody says, oh no, you can't see it. Yes, you can. Okay, they didn't do a very good job <laughs> of hiding it with the cloud because the cloud never freaking moves. And so it's going to be right in this general vicinity, right over here. So anyways, uh, you can certainly follow, uh, you know, the things that I've actually found. Uh, just, it's all in a straight line this way. It's all pretty much, whoops, wait a minute. Yeah, and I don't know what happened here. I went off and I, and I was exploring. When I was exploring the island, the floating island with you guys, check that out. Okay, that's my pod. It should be just like 20 feet from my thermal base. And all of a sudden, it's five miles out that way. I don't get it. I don't know what the heck happened. It was just when I was out at the, uh, whatever. You know, it happens. So what? Okay, so I got to head out this way. I don't want to head towards that freaking pod. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm heading in the general uh, right vicinity. So you head towards, and, and here's, the, here's the other thing, guys. If you, if you find, and you will, the island, not the floating island, but the regular island, Put a stinking beacon on it. It's just so much easier when you know what the heck you're doing and what you're headed towards. You know, you don't have to use your, your smarticle particles. But it's right in front of me. I can tell it's got this funny shimmer around the corners of the cloud. And it's just the way they're hiding the island uh, until you're close up to it. But uh, so basically where these things are, the power transmitter. Uh, yeah, it's right in front of me. Okay, cool. Okay, right past the last kelp forest, which is this. You get into this area. You got this little plain or dooney plain, and you go up and over it, and then you have a drop off where these these douchebags start spawning. You see these floating islands, or the submerged floating islands? Okay, guys, this is where they say they are. Okay. They, they are and they aren't, okay? Online it says, oh yeah, they're gonna be on these floating islands. Yeah, no, they're not, okay? I searched every freaking one of these things all the way on down to the bottom numerous times where I found my first piece was gonna be actually, strangely enough, was right freaking here, right on this corner. There was a power transmitter fragment right there. And it was not over here where the wiki says, oh yeah, it's on one of these really groovy little stinking eyes. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. There is something that is extremely freaking cool out here though. And that is a new fragment of the Aurora. Check this big bad boy out, guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now I went all over this thing, in and out of it. It's, it's not that freaking impressive, unfortunately. 
uh, yeah, there's another piece of it. Yeah, I mean, it's it it just it just straight up isn't that impressive. You can get lost in it a heck of a lot easier than anything. See, I mean, it's empty. There's nothing in this stupid thing. It is pretty cool. You can go, oh, look at this. I'm going to get lost and drown. That's pretty much uh, how it feels when you're going through these stupid things. But, okay, let's, ooh, come on, come on, come on. Go. Jeez. I am going to freaking drown. Okay, so anyways, I made it out of that corner there. So where I climbed in was in the middle. Where is it? There we go, Rio Grande. Nothing's here, guys. Not a freaking thing. I think they're probably going to be adding stuff uh, to this wreck. Um, you know, on a later update. But yeah, this is another ginormous, explorable chunk of crap that blew off of that friggin' spaceship. And unfortunately, uh, I found the exact same shape, chunk, everything. It's like a great big U-shaped piece of the Aurora with this big old piece of tube here. And you got this funky tube coming off the tip of it here. Okay, they just like photocopied this stupid thing and put it two other places in, in this in this game on the map so i don't know why they did that uh like yeah that's that's how things crash uh photocopied of it anyways guys okay the second piece of the power transmitter is gonna be i found it okay here's the deal straight freaking down from this okay it must have they said it was gonna be on this guy right here wiki says it's on this big one right by this vent okay yes there were two little uh, uh fragments here but they weren't the power transmitter i think they were the the uh, crafting table the 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 you know the secondary table that you can you can change things up a bit the modification station that's it but anyways okay guys now you gotta have the depth uh you know enhancers to be able to go down here. So I'm, I'm at about, oh, I'm passing 400 meters here shortly. And you get to the bottom. There we go, lots more vents. It's not a very hospitable place. I'm probably gonna build a base down here, but here we go, check it out. There's, that's most likely a chunk right there, guys, okay? It's way down here. I'm at 400 and 500 meters deep, guys. Okay, seriously, it's, it's, you. <laughs> You're, you're going to need to have a lot of things before you can actually get down here. But um, as for the, the, you know, I got to keep searching out. This is a chunk of the Cyclops. Okay. I, you know, I, I, I bet you I already have it. I'm not sure what that's a part of. Uh, it's probably a part of the engine. Yes, it is. I already have all the engine fragments. They make you get the, uh, the whole fragments. Then you have to get the engine fragments. Then that's a part of the engine as well. Uh, engine. These are all engine fragments. I got all of the engine fragments. Uh, and then they have uh, like the the the, the uh, bridge fragments and a few other different groups of fragments. It takes a long time to get the freaking side claw. It's unfreaking believable. I mean, look at all these little. See, there's so much crap here, guys. It's this is this is a treasure trove of friggin' fragment garbage. And once you pretty much have everything, this is where you go to get uh, two pieces of freaking titanium every time you push the wrong thing. Okay, guys, you're just going to destroy my stinking sea moth. It's the Rio Grande now. It's no longer Aaliyah the Smash. I had to take off Aaliyah's uh, uh, crusty exterior and put on the depth, uh, uh, non-crushing stuff. And that's totally Rio. It's great. Mr. Explorer, so... Woo! Guys, just leave me alone. Jeez, I'm just trying to show people where crap is. Okay, and as you can see, I am coming up to the surface right at the island. So if I, oops, man, what am I down to already? 55%, what the crap? I think, oops. Okay, so the island, ooh, that was a pretty good hop. There we go, the island is going to be right, what the heck? It's going to be over here. It's right here. It is, oh, you're making me look stupid, game. Where the hell is it? Anyways, it's right in this area, guys. You know what I'm talking about. So, okay, guys, that is all I wanted to show you. That is exactly where you get the, uh, the electrical uh, extender, You'd, if, if that's what you really want to call it, your, your power extender. So, uh, guys, I hope that it was helpful. 
I hope that uh, makes you uh, be able to build uh, bases the way you... Whoa, hey guys. How you doing? Jeez. It's like my last girlfriend. Woo, it's scary. Anyways, guys, I hope it helps you uh, build a base where you want to build a base rather than where you have to build a freaking base like I did. Yes, and by the way, this thermal base sucks because I don't like being around all that freaking noise all the time, so I'm going to have to move it. Uh, everything, all of the... the <laughs> everything I put into building that stinking thing, I'm going to have to re redo it. And it's okay. It's no big deal. I don't care. I mean, it happens. Big deal. So at least maybe this time I will I will build something really totally freaking awesome and, um, you know, uh, exquisitely neat. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore, guys. All right. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, tell me why. Don't just thumb down and run off like a big freaking baby. Okay? Just let me know. I really would appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. All right, guys. Love you. Take it easy. Bye-bye. <laughs>